Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time we beat up Bowser. There is a door just over there, but unfortunately we can't access that yet. The bedroom is straight on the kitchen's off to the right. Well, we can't go to the bedroom yet, but we can go to the kitchen now. But first, let's just grab this little one-up here, because apparently bringing more of the observatory back to life also causes more one-ups to spawn in. I don't get how that works either, but whatever. This is Mario. What's well, Luigi? But whatever. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Well, I don't know, because we never really know what they're using the Grand Stars for. Not all of them, anyway. Alright, let's get to the one that requires more stars first. It's Luigi's Mansion! <laughs> Because ever since that game, every single thing that's ghost-focused in a Mario game has to have some sort of connection to Luigi's Mansion. And look, look at the name. <laughs> Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. You may as well have called it Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Galaxy. <laughs> but no, we called it the Ghostly Galaxy, but we don't get any sort of Luigi's Mansion music. Rather, we, uh, we just get the underground theme. <laughs> I really do like this version of the underground theme, even if it isn't the whole thing. We detected signs of Luigi in this galaxy. I hope he hasn't been eaten by ghosts. Uh, who do you think you're talking to? I don't know why he's rolling his R's, but who do you think you're talking to? I am Luigi. What is going on here? <laughs> but now I'm Rainbow Luigi. <laughs> Now there's a moth flying in front of my face. I should really be using this to go to uh, for the path that's right ahead of me, but <laughs> we're not going to. What this is is me getting my emissions mixed up and thinking that the extra mission is accessed in this one. It's not. It's in the next one. Where am I always spider? I don't like spiders. He doesn't know how to react to the terrain from the looks of him. It's like, he's going a bit crazy there. Welcome to the mansion. I mean, this still isn't exactly Luigi's Mansion music, but whatever. Yeah, if you try and spin the boo, it sort of just circles around you and that's it. But in typical Mario fashion, for some bizarre reason, if you look at a boo in the face, it doesn't like it for some reason. Which never made any sense to me. And despite being a ghost, it can't go through Bowser statues, apparently. <laughs> and that is not how you do that. This is. Get the boo into the light, and the boo dies. Again. So where does it go from here? Yes, thank you. I can see that. They don't hate the light, it kills them. Well, I mean, you would hate the light if it kills you. <laughs> you got to keep them out of the light. They don't like, they hate bright light, but you've got to keep them out of the sunlight. It'll kill them. Well, in this case, I don't think that's sunlight. There's no sun here. You opened the door, but you get a key from the boo. The boos can keep things inside of them somehow. Just a massive bone outside that window. Oh man, this place is going to give me a headache. This is where, again, the control can get a little bit awkward. Where the gravity keeps switching. Around here. Let's take these sling stars. But that didn't give me anything. Ah, here we go. That's the outer ones, and now that's the inner ones, now the outer ones. I don't know if the coins disappear after a certain amount of time. I don't want to find out. Anyway, we have these Goombas now with pumpkins on their heads. I believe they're called Jacko Goombas, like Jacko Lantern. Uh, what you've got to be careful of, though, is that they will, every now and then, they'll stop and they'll create like this flame. And I have been hit by that so many freaking times. Because it the, the flame appears 
right where, like that one, right where they're standing. So you can't really see it until they start moving again. But once you get rid of the pumpkin, it becomes a regular Goomba. This mansion is not very exciting from the outside. What the hell was that? What kind of planet is that? Hey, what the? Something is not right here. Who is the fake one? What if this game ended up with Mario just like, uh, he, he's got the gun. And it's just that situation where it's just like you got two right next to each other. Which one's the right one? <laughs> oh, come on. Not this thing, really. I mean, the difference being is that it is a different model. Like, that Luigi does look different to this Luigi. But which one's the real one? Pretty booish. There's some irony. A one-up mushroom painted. The painting of a one-up mushroom in a mansion. You transformed into B Luigi. B Luigi? We've already done that. You transformed into Boo Luigi. And I really do like how, because Luigi doesn't like ghosts, Boo Luigi is really unhappy. Boo Mario is perfectly fine, but Boo Luigi, he doesn't like being a ghost. Even though it's him. Anyway, Boo Mario slash Boo Luigi isn't really that much different from the B form. It still flies, but um, you actually get unlimited flight here. The problem is, is that you have to keep mashing the jump button, which does get tiring. And the Boos do fall in love with you if, you, if they see you. But instead of a spin, it just allows you to go through walls. You lose the form if you hit light. Oh my, are you... me? Well, I guess there's enough people in the universe for one person to look like me. Anyway, I found a power star. Let's take it back. Yeah. This makes no sense. They didn't bother just changing it to Mario. <laughs> but they play along with the joke. Oh, I'm seeing double. Yeah, I think if you grab a star, I can't make out what the other Luigi says. I think he says, with me, Luigi, but I'm not really sure. It's my, uh, my twin brother, Luigi. And now the library's open. Welcome back. I can see your twin from here. If you ask him, I bet he'll help you search for power stars. And I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go speak to him over there by the garage. Yeah, we're not going to be going into Rosalina's library for this part. I was thinking about it, but this part ended up going on quite a bit long. I think he wants to murder the leader. And, uh, he's a coward now. He'll get better. Now Luigi will help you search for power stars too. That'll help. Just talk to the man himself. There's nobody else seeing anything out of the ordinary here. We make sure Luigi is safe. Found you. I've heard there are galaxies hidden from view from all observatory domes. But how do we get to them? Indeed, how do we get to them? Well, I think we'll find that out later. Look at all those stars in the background there. Hey. hey me, you're looking for power stars, right? I think you missed one in the Good Egg Galaxy. Somehow. I'll write you a letter when I find it. Check your mail. You can see the difference just here. The other Luigi is slightly darker. He's a bit taller. The model is different. I guess they wanted our Luigi to be a bit more proportioned like Mario, but that kind of defeats the purpose of Luigi. This is not Mario 1. You know, Lu Luigi has had a separate sprite from Mario since what? Mario All Stars? Well, it's only Mario 2, actually, but then it reverted back to being the same sprite in Mario 3. So, yeah, you'll be notified by Toad if Luigi ever finds a star. Why he can't just take the star back himself is something I don't know, but he never bothers. So, let's make our way back up this. The only problem with the uh, kitchen, you've got to keep going back up here. I mean, there are shortcuts you can take. It's just a bit of annoying. It's just a bit annoying. Back to the ghostly galaxy we go. And 
and our next mission is a very spooky sprint. Or is it? No, it isn't. We're actually going to be doing our uh, our hidden mission here. He looks so adorable in that helmet. I don't know why a ghost needs a crash helmet, but whatever. It's like the only time we ever see him without his head torch. The game members haven't come back. Oh no. How terrible. Look, this one's glowing. I can only mean it's got a launch star in it. What, this, this one really sends you fast. Now welcome to this area. Where we have, um... I don't know what you, Well, I think it's called Matter. But other than that, I don't really know what's going on here. This will become the basis for a galaxy later on, but uh, for now, all the for now, it's basically just an auto scroller. Ah! Unfortunately, it's also it's also uh, not the most exciting galaxy in the world. Master Splatter Galaxy is great. This is pretty boring. Again, it's an auto scroller. I don't like auto scrollers. They're my second least favourite gimmick in a Mario game. Beaten only by snake blocks, which are mercifully not in this game. But unfortunately, they are in Galaxy 2. In fact, it was Galaxy 2 that made me hate them in the first place. Oh, really? Seriously, I hate snake blocks. Ah! <laughs> Finally, Luigi's sliding physics actually messed me up. Alright, I've got lives to spare. So, so I get 20 of them every single time I boot the game up. Which really defeats the purpose of taking away your lives in the first place. Then 3D land happened and you realise actually that was probably a good idea. Because I swear to god, even if you don't try any one-up tricks, by the time you're done with 3D land you're probably going to have like 400 lives. They're so easy to come by, and 3D Land is not exactly a hard game. I mean, it's better than New Super Mario Bros. 2, where it's like, you still get a, the whole point of the game is to collect coins. But we're still going to give you a 1-up for every 100 coins you get, which you're going to do in the matter of seconds, because we give you so many coins. So what was the point? And as you can see, we've been brought back to the center. That can only mean that we've got a, a message or a conversation. And that conversation is from Mail Toad. You have a letter from Luigi. Hey. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows me where I am. Help me. Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again, let me give you this picture so you won't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press the plus button on the full screen, then use the letter icon to check the picture. Yeah, I don't get this. If we grab a power star, we could just fly back to the observatory. Why can't Luigi just do that? In fact, when we grab the power star, only we fly back to the observatory. He's just automatically back here. This makes no sense. What's his consistency? Back to the ghostly galaxy again. We'll rescue Luigi, don't worry. But uh, we have we have this galaxy first. Let's get back to Master Splatter Mansion. Or as I like to call it, a very spooky sprint. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you select, you'll still it'll still want you to do the regular mission. Ooh, there's a view of Luigi I needed. Anyway, so some Toad Brigade members have gone missing, even though it's fine. The moment you grab a star, everybody goes back to the observatory. <laughs> yeah, this this star, I believe, is here for every mission. Not that you really need it for this one, because we're using uh, pool stars. I do like how that first bit is upside down. We've actually got planetoids that spout out a load of uh, stars. Anyway, so there's uh, some of the toads here, but there's also a boo. And some evil looking trees. 
<laughs> so you're after it too? Well, you'll have to race me for it. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, you're already dead. Why are you wearing a crash helmet? With safety goggles. Goggles, I don't know what that is. Anyway, so we're making our way, we're just racing him to the end. I don't know why there's a best time of 1 minute 30 here, because he's going to get there with way more time than... <laughs> he's going to get there much faster than that. So it's impossible to miss. <laughs> just use the pool stars, avoid the bones, watch out for the, uh... The chicken, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. They do bounce you around, it's rubber chicken. Which sounds disgusting. Oh, it's very simple. You can use the sling star for a shortcut. Get ready to catch yourself though, because otherwise you're gonna go right through the sling, the uh, pool star. I never understood the point of these planets always though. It just made things more complicated, which I guess is the point. But I don't know. What was the point of them in space jump? Just clear the path by shooting the mines. And there we go. I don't know if there's anything around the back of a planet, but uh, I don't really have enough time for that. One, oh one, oh one, oh oh. I kind of wish I was one centisecond off. That's why I called me a hundredth of a second. Uh, weren't we racing to get to the star? He already has the star with him. I guess he just wanted to challenge us to a race. I mean, he didn't. He didn't technically say we're racing to the star. He just said, you're after it too. <laughs> but I already have it. But you're going to have to race before it's a win. How about we race for the radio? Oh, I totally agree with your proposal. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sliding around there. I just want to know what Luigi ha- What kind of shoes does Luigi wear that makes him so slippery? I mean, he gets better, but what kind of shoes is he wearing? Welcome to Beware of Bouldergeist. So yeah, he slides around. He's no different to Mario in Mario 1. He slides around in Lost Levels. I think he slides around in Mario 2. I can't really remember. I know he jumps higher. He has like his flutter jump, but I don't think he actually slides around. Luigi was kidnapped by the monster that lives here. He's the same in Mario 3, he's the same in Mario World. I think the Game Boy Advance version of World gets into slidey physics, I'm not sure, I've never played it. Oh, yeah. Bats and spiders. And chomps. Killer dogs. And it's like, he doesn't control... He doesn't slide about in 64 DS. He slides about in Galaxy, but not New Super Mario Bros. Not in any of them. He slides around in New Super Luigi U. He slides around in Galaxy 2. He jumps higher in 3D Land and 3D World, but he doesn't actually slide. Like, his his controls are the same. He just jumps a bit higher. That's it. I keep reading on, like, various sources that he does have slidey physics. I can't tell the difference. Anyway, now we're introduced to the Bombu. Which uh, goes a bit crazy when it sees you. It doesn't cower away if you look at it, I don't believe. You spin, you somehow grab a hold of its tongue. And then you s if it hits something, it will explode. However, over time, it is constantly being pulled in towards you. So after a while, it is just going to hit you. I don't know what triggers this thing to go. Oh no! This is why nobody likes spiders. They push you off cliffs and you fall into bo and you fall into a black hole. <laughs> he was waiting for me there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was close. This this guy's actually sticking to his web. Look at these ghosts in the background or whatever they're supposed to be clouds. Almost looks like that painting. That screaming guy in the painting. <laughs> Who I only know because of that Simpsons episode. <laughs> you lose, Michelangelo's David. Who's next? Me! <laughs> the 
that is the wrong way to do it. Oh, I can just smack myself into the floor. Nice. Luckily, you can only go so far. Still, it looks like a bad idea. No, we don't want to do that. This part's a little bit awkward because you can't really tell where the... Because the planet will stop you, but it's kind of hard to tell, yeah, like that, where exactly you are. This? I have no idea what the point of this is, but it's bouncy! You can do this, or you can just try and stay on the top. If you press the jump button right when you land, you will jump a bit higher. That's how you get back out. Have I spoken to this guy yet? I feel like I might have done once. Anyway, Luma Lee, Luma Bop. Welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you a ha something helpful for only 30 star bits. Which will it be? You can choose either extra health or an extra life. Why you would ever choose an extra life is beyond me. But if you already have extra health, then uh, you have no reason to talk to me. But if you're playing Galaxy 2 and you already have your health at 6, uh, collecting one of those mushrooms does actually act as an extra life. Only if it's maxed out though. Like If you have 5 health pieces, it will just fill up that last one. Here it just doesn't do anything. Anyway. Bouldergeist. For some... I've never understood this, but for some odd reason. Every time we get to the dramatic part of his music, I'm not the bit that's playing now. But later on... You can shoot the rocks by the way. Later on, I swear it becomes Family Guy. It's missing a few bits to the song, but I swear it's Family Guy. And that looks disgusting. Okay, we didn't really get to hear it here. And now he becomes, because it's a Nintendo game, you have to have a head with two giant hands. Because this has to be in every Nintendo game. Since... Well, Mario 64. I know the floating head technically started with Andros in Star Fox, but he didn't have any hands. But he'll throw three kinds of rocks. He'll throw standard rocks. He'll throw rocks that then turn into bombos. And he'll throw some golden rocks, which just give you coins. As long as you stay close to him, you shouldn't ever have to worry about the bombos hitting the hands. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. And Family Guy is no different. It's the most pointless and backwards theme song ever. But that's probably the point of it. Yes, there's a point to it being pointless. And that's that. The boss can drag on a little bit. It's the only issue I have with them choosing Bouldergeist for the boss bits Galaxy and Galaxy 2. Like, all the other boss fights can be done so quickly, you have to wait him out. It doesn't help that you have to fight him twice. And yeah, I can finish Dino Fiery Dino Piranha so much faster. And he's what comes next. Right, the practical comment's not here yet, so... Alright, let's now go and help out me. To do so, we have to make our way back to the Good Egg Galaxy. So we have to go back to the Terrace Dome. It's like with each subsequent game, the hub world just keeps getting smaller. Although actually, I think Dolphino Plaza might be bigger than Peter's Castle, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> but then here, there's nothing to do when the Common Observatory Bar gets some extra lives. Otherwise, it's just a means of accessing levels. And then we got Starship Mario. I really don't know what the point of that one was. Because <laughs> you just access you could add a world you had a world map, otherwise all you did was just kidnap people. Alright, he's on top of the house. Luckily I am Luigi, I can do this. Thanks. Otherwise they wanted you to take the orange pipe underneath the planet. <laughs> You're going to save me again. I knew I could rely on me. What? The power star? Yeah, I got it right here. And that is all you had to do. You can't get up here using that same trick with Mario, so it's just a little bit harder. 
Because you can't, like, wall jump on the house, you just slide down. But yeah, that is the easiest mission in the entire game. And I got a feeling we're going to be doing something like that two more times. But I got a new chapter to the story, but I think we don't have, right now I probably have like four chapters. I think if you collect every power star, you, by the time this thing is available, you're going to have at least two chapters, if not three. But I really do like the story, but I didn't really care about it on my first playthrough until I got to the plot twist. Then I'm like, oh, that's dark. And I found a new respect for it. Otherwise, I didn't really care that much for it. Back then. I prefer it now because it's, you know, it's the most story a Mario game has ever given us. Funnily enough, it's a storybook. But I'm not really sure what unlocks the library. Again, is it just the... Uh, do I have to complete a certain mission? Do I need a certain amount of power stars? But enough once the thing is unlocked? I have no idea. Otherwise, I would expect it to have just been unlocked straight from the beginning. Right from the moment I got the Grand Star. But I don't know. It's time for Boulder Guy's Daredevil Run. And to a lot of people, this is actually one of the game's hardest missions. I mean, I die. <laughs> That's what we're going to see, that I do die. But I never really have much of an issue with this mission. I'd say the last Daredevil mission is the hardest one, but that's because it's the only one that isn't a boss fight. Alright, so now he has to do this again. Otherwise, what am I looking at? What, what is this thing? I mean, his outer part of his body is rocks. I get that. Apart from his eyes. What am I looking at on the inside? Like, it's still a solid object. What am I looking at? Whatever it is, it smokes a lot. Seems today... No, I'm not going to do that. This is just gross. But somehow it creates a load of bomb booze. <laughs> That's phase one. If you do destroy the hands with the bomb booze, they do grow back after a while. So don't bother trying to go for them. Just... Stay close to Bouldergeist. And then you should be able to get the bomb boost to hit him. It, it kind of I think he always throws the same number of rocks, so it kind of just depends on how soon you get a bomb boo. You may get one, you may get two, but I don't think it's ever possible to get all three. It'd be kind of stupid if you could. We're gonna do this is a long way. <laughs> But yeah, he has a few additional attacks, then he'll slam the ground. He'll create more of those cones of rocks. Like that. Oh, battle it, battle it! Oh! That hurt. I don't blame him, but the way that just comes right out on the ground. That's hitting you in the worst possible places. There we go. Yeah, the bomb boo will just automatically disappear. And there we go. I'm sure he's fine, maybe. I think Luigi's Mansion had a, a villain that was... One of the ghosts was kind of similar to Border Guys. So it's probably where the idea came from. I think his name was Bogmire. He's kind of similar in design. Anyway, that wraps it up for this part. Next up, we will be going into Rosalina's library first. We're going to hear part of the storybook. And then, I think we need a vacation. What do you mean we can't travel abroad? Oh, I'll see you guys next time.